Okay, my okay, my arms had a bit of a rest. Let's have a look what we've got. I haven't I haven't seen this before. Well, I've, I've seen the um, the the beaters, but not for a couple of versions. Let's see what we've got. We've got a menu here. Um, we've got um, the, the, the usual the usual sort of um, standard things here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the internet the things that I, I would normally do. Um, so so let's let's do that. For me, it's quite straightforward because it's connect. The first thing I do is set up the firewall. Click on OK. So that's the that's my um, security done. And if I click on connect again, and I'm using a um, this is the network wizard. I'm just using uh, an Ethernet connection, a, a hardwired connection. If you're if you're using wireless, it's a little bit more complex, but not much. Auto DHCP, okay, and um, that that'll that should connect, okay. Go go go. Yes, done. Yes, set as default. Okay, I don't need to read all that. So now, if I do a browse, and what I normally do is I check this is the, the the standard page that comes up in Puppy, and I normally use this. This is my thing. It goes to to Time Machine, runs this little thing, and I now know absolutely certainly that I've got a connection. Normally, the the second thing I do, which I would also expect to to work okay, is changing the um, the uh, the global the set the global font size. Uh, and I tend to bring that up quite high, okay. Uh, and I might change the the configuration. That this this is my sort of personal thing that I like to do. Um, so apply, close. So I've just set a different wallpaper. Uh, another thing I might want to do is the change the the theme. There we are. Apply. Okay. And I don't like these grey fonts up here. Not fonts. Uh, grey icons. So I'm going to change the uh, the desktop icon switcher here, and I'm going to change it to Stardust. And okay. Right now to get the the larger fonts. For example, on the, the menu here, I would just do the Restart X server. Alright, this is like a sort of quick cold boot. You can see how fast it is. Back back in here, and now you can see the, the fonts are slightly larger. Uh, it's easier for, for me to, to see. Okay, let's look at um, um, Quirky now. Let's look at some of the things. All pretty standard. These are these are all things that you would expect in Puppy. The configuration on the systems, the uh, printing, um, formatting, floppy disk, the G part head, all all the things that you would expect in Puppy are there. The the wizards um, that help you with the setup. You can also do the the setup from the the desktop. All very standard. All very easy to to understand. Now, some of the things, like for example, in um, loose, and this is this is wary, all right. Uh, I think wary is a version of um, quirky, all right. But quirky is the the first release, and that's what I'm looking at. Quirky one at the moment. Um, okay, oh, right. Okay, let's look at this. There, oh, there was something I wanted to try out, and that was the the the, the video. Um, in the browser, let's let's look at that because the the the, the browsing and particularly looking at um, the video should be much better on on Quirky, according to Barry. So let's let's look let's go let's look for the BBC. Okay, BBC. Where are we? There we go. Oh, that doesn't want to find that. Um, BBC Online. It's not cached. This is something to do with my, um, you know, Virgin. Virgin are my um, ISP. Ah, yeah. This is this is something I find bizarre. Look, if I double click on this, 
it won't expand. I have to click on this one to expand it. I did um, I did mention that, and that's because the window manager that's being used is um, OpenBox. If you look at, um, I think you can still use JWM. I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe you can't. You'd have to have it as a, as an add-on. But anyway, let's let's just make sure we can look at the news and live. And there's flash coming up, and let's see if that comes up. There it is, and full screen. There's um, Gordon Brown, looking very um, hopeful. Uh, not just <laughs> this is the election. This is UK election going on. Ah, the sound isn't working. Now the sound isn't working. Okie doke. Let's. Uh, but it's working full screen by the looks of it. Now because the sound isn't working, I'll escape that bring it down and then I'll look at um, setup and I'll uh, where, where are we sound there we are setup also sound I'll click on that okay and it's building it's building a, a data base of um, sound sound cards and I know that what it should be using is not that one. I've actually got two two sound cards and sometimes a, a USB microphone and headphone set in there, but I've got two sound cards, an inbuilt one and a separate sound blaster. But the one that I need is this, this ATI um, Intel one. And if I click on that, OK, yes. And that should be OK. And yes. And there you've probably heard some barking. That's a puppy barking. Okie doke. And now if I go back to... Uh, can we go to history or go... Yeah, let's, no, let's just go BBC again. BBC... Oh, there it is. And uh, we'll make that large. And same thing, news and live. So this is the live news and let's see if we've got sound. If not I'll have to do an X, X, you know, restart X and see if that works. We'll go full screen. What's happened in the last 20 years? And is it synchronising? Yes, he's a parent and he's got to think about these things. Well there we go. Looking a bit tired, but um, anyway, that's all now working. I've got a working puppy. What I can do um, on the next boot up, it will ask me about my. Uh, let's turn the sound right down. It will ask me on the next uh, boot up if there's any SFS that I want to load the squash files, and I'll be able to there there on on the. Um, on my hard drive and it'll ask me about those and I'll be able to have OpenOffice and uh, Zara LX which I tend to use. There it is, puppy, all set up, ready to go, connected to the web, everything working, sound working, video working, all the things that I want and on the next boot up, as I say, I'll have everything else working. So give it a go, puppy quirky. Thanks very much. Bye now.